Hey guys, welcome to Kids for Code. My name is Jason, and today we'll be going over how to install Python and PyCharm and some introduction. So what is Kids for Code? We are a group of high school students who want to teach you how to code. Um, everyone is welcome to join our classes. Uh, we do video and Zoom lessons um, to teach you guys. And also, um, coding is just so important because every day we rely on computers, whether it's at like home or school or at work. And it's very important to be able to have the skill to um, manipulate computers so you can solve problems and accomplish tasks or create something new. So what are coding languages? Well, coding languages are how we communicate with the computer. So just like how I'm communicating with you in English right now, I communicate to the computer with programming languages. So I am basically talking to the computer and telling it what to do in a way that it understands what I'm saying. So what is Python? Well, Python is a programming language and it is very simple to read and understand. So that makes it very beginner friendly. Um, and we use Python to develop web apps, mobile apps, games, and even artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, and Google, Spotify, Netflix, and Instagram, they were all built with Python. So we use Python because, um, or one of the reasons why we use Python is it is very concise. So if you see this example below, both of these programs, uh, the left one is written in Java, right one in Python. Um, they both do the exact same thing, but as you can see, Python accomplishes the same task in a lot less lines. Um, and also it is just easier to read. So that is one of the main benefits of Python. Another big factor of why we use Python is it doesn't require an IDE. Um, I'll explain what that is in just a, a minute. Um, but you can like write and execute Python in Notepad, which is pretty cool. And it's very um, powerful because you can basically go anywhere on your computer and um, write some code to solve problems or accomplish tasks. Okay, so now we're gonna get into installing Python and PyCharm. Um, so what is an IDE or Integrated Development Environment? Well, they give us a place to type, run, and debug our code. So this helps us write our code more easily because it, for example, it color codes it, so it makes it easier to read and stuff. And also, um, it highlights errors. So if we're doing something wrong, for example, if we're, if we're, uh, if we have typos, it'll tell us, or if we're doing something that's not allowed, it'll tell us as well. Um, so we are going to be using PyCharm as our IDE. Okay. So first for Mac. So Python is actually pre-installed on Mac, but it's probably outdated. So to check, um, Press your command spacebar key, uh, command plus spacebar, and then type terminal. So uh, then your terminal will pop up and then type python dash dash version. And then you will see um, python two point something most likely. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to update it. Um, but if you want to check if you already have the latest version, uh, you can type python three dash dash version. And um, if Python 3. Point something pops up, then you're actually good to go and you don't need to follow the installation directions. Okay, so to install Python for Mac, go to python.org slash downloads and you need to uh, get the Mac version. It, um, not Windows or Linux, make sure to uh, select the Mac version and download it. And then you should see the installer at the bottom of your page or in your downloads folder and then go ahead and run it, and then keep clicking continue, and then finally install, and note that you will need your computer password, so make sure you have that. And now Python 3 should be installed, so press your command and then spacebar key, and then um, type terminal, and type Python 3 dash dash version, and Python 3.8.3 should pop up. Okay, so now we need to install PyCharm uh, for Mac. So go to that link and then make sure you are under Mac and click the uh, black button, which is community edition because the professional edition actually costs money, um, but don't worry, we don't need it. Um, and then 
open a DMG file that appears at the bottom of your screen or again in your downloads folder. And then drag PyCharm CE, um, which is the, uh, what, it, what it's called, and then drag it to the applications folder. And now you can open PyCharm through the launch app or in applications folder. Um, so now we are going to go over how to install Python and PyCharm for Windows. So to install Python for Windows, first, we need to go to the search bar down here and then type store. This will take us to the Microsoft Store. And now click search, search for Python. And now click on Python 3.8. Um, so now we can just click install right here. And it's gonna try to make you sign in, but don't worry, you don't need to sign in. So just exit out. And then now it's gonna install and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, now it is done installing. As you can see, um, Python 3.8 just got installed. Um, you don't need to launch it, that's fine. Uh, now it'll say install my devices, but don't worry, you don't need to do that. Uh, so now you can just close out of store. Now if you go to the search bar and type in PowerShell, and then type in Python 3 dash dash version, Python 3.8.3 pops up. So that's good. That means that we installed it correctly. Okay, so we can close out of that. And, but we're not done yet. Um, so we need to go to python.org slash downloads. And now I'll click this down. It's, it should be the first one for Windows and 3.8.3. So go ahead and download that. It'll appear at the bottom or in your downloads folder. And then go ahead and run it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the installer. Uh, make sure to check this box and then just click install now. Okay, so now it is done. So uh, you don't need to worry about this option. Just click close. All right, and that is Python installed. Now we install PyCharm. So go ahead and go to this link. Uh, now you don't need to click anything. It'll automatically download it. Okay, waiting for it to download. Okay, so now it's done. Now we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, and now go ahead and click next, next. Uh, check this option to create desktop shortcut so you can easily launch it from your desktop. And then click next install. Okay, we are done installing. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and run this. So if you want to run it right away, just check this box and then click finish. And then it's going to boot it up as you can see. Okay, so now we are in PyCharm. So you can actually click create first project here. And then if you, you can name it whatever you want. So uh, I'll just name it first project and then click create. And that'll set everything up. All right, as you can see, we have our first project into the left here. And now to create a Python file, which is where we're gonna be typing our code, um, right click it. Go to new Python file, and you can name this whatever you want. So you can say, I'll just say first Python file. Okay, and that is how you uh, install PyCharm and create a project and the Python file. Okay, yeah, we already created a project and a file. So if you had any technical difficulties, don't worry. You can always contact us through either our website or our email. And also in our Zoom lessons, you can ask questions and um, we'll answer them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so yeah, with that, uh, thank you for watching and bye. See you in the next one.